How's it going guys? I know when I do a video that's usually not a trailer review or a movie review, I'm sitting somewhere else. But I just finished shooting my review for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, which you guys will see probably tomorrow, and I didn't feel like changing anything, so here I am. But as of today, May 5th, which I now just realized is Cinco de Mayo, and now I really want tacos, today marks the release date of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, as well as the official start of the summer movie season. And the summer movie season is always so much fun because there's some cool blockbusters, a lot of franchise movies, and if we're looking ahead at this season's summer movie season, you gotta look at last year's, which was kind of disappointing. A lot of the movies I walked out of last summer and I was like, they're fine. Some of those opinions wavered. Some of them, like Pete's Dragon's a good example. I kind of liked it a little bit more when I thought about it. And some movies like Independence Day Resurgence, I liked less the more I thought about it. But there were so many movies I walked out of last summer, like Finding Dory, Central Intelligence, Independence Day Resurgence, The Shallows, Sausage Party, Ghostbusters, all these movies where I'm just like, they're fine. And most of them were okay one-time watches. Some of them more than others. But my point is there weren't a lot of like great movies last summer. There weren't a lot of ones where I'm like, yes, this is why I go to the movies. It was a lot of like, that was an okay way to kill two hours. So now looking ahead to this summer, I'm really hoping that this summer shapes up a little bit more. But my point in making this video is I want to talk about like what I think is going to be one of the highest grossing movies of the summer and also what I think will most likely be my favorite movie of this summer. I'm looking forward to a lot of movies this summer and I think the box office, it's really hard to predict. But as far as what I think is going to be the highest grossing movie, the last two summers I was thinking Age of Ultron and Civil War. Both Marvel movies, both of which got outgrossed by Jurassic World and Finding Dory. The natural assumption for number one I think would be Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 because it's a big movie riding off the heels of another huge huge movie, a movie that topped the summer of the year that it came out, and it also comes out the first week in May, so it has the longest time in the summer movie season. But after those last two summers, I'm kind of like, uh, I'm not so sure. So where I'm going with my number one movie as far as box office goes this summer, I'm gonna say Despicable Me 3. The reason for that is the Despicable Me franchise has raked in dough. Despicable Me 2 almost grossed a billion dollars, and Minions did gross over a billion dollars. Now there is an argument to make that a lot of people did not love Minions. Even though it made a lot of money, a lot of people walked out of it really annoyed and really just like Minion fatigued. But a couple things. One, all the Minion memes on Facebook that all your relatives post, you get, you know the relative that does it. Those haven't died down. And this movie is returning Gru, the kids, Lucy, you know, the other characters from the other Despicable Me movies. And I also thought Despicable Me 3 had a really funny, really good trailer. So for my money, I'm gonna call the upset early this summer. I think Despicable Me 3 will be the highest grossing movie this summer. I think it will outgross Cars 3, Guardians of the Galaxy. However, what I think is gonna be the best movie this summer, it's a tough call, but for me, I'm gonna go with War for the Planet of the Apes. It's a part of a franchise that I've yet to see a bad movie from, at least from the rebooted series. Rise and Dawn are both two of the coolest science fiction movies we've had in the last five years. So I have high hopes for War, and I think it is gonna be my favorite movie of the summer. However, I'm looking forward to a lot of other movies. I'm actually kind of interested in Cars 3. Baywatch looks interesting. Spider-Man, despite the fact that I've not really liked the last three Spider-Mans, I think Spider-Man 3 is okay. But Spider-Man 3, Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2 have both kind of been let downs. I am still excited to see the return of Spidey on the big screen. Pirates of the Caribbean's coming out at the end of this month. Month. I really hope, no pun intended, that they can turn that ship around, so we'll see. But let me know down in the comments what you think will be the biggest movie of the summer, and also what you think will be the best movie of the summer. But if you guys like this video, go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to try to review as many movies this summer as I can. The Guardians of the Galaxy review will probably be up tomorrow, so look forward to that. But in the meantime, I'll see you guys next time.